what are the spring boot futures are there spring boot futures are one is will removes the removes the boiler plate of the code so how to remove this boiler plate of the code with the help of first concept is auto configuration second concept is dependency management is easier with the help of starter dependencies starter dependencies dependency management is easier what is third one third spring boot futures embedded server embedded server setting third one embedded server setting what about fourth one actuators actuator to make our production ready based applications we should go for actuator setting i would say actuator endpoints or actuators whatever it is so fifth one dev tools development tools sixth one spring boot cli command line interface team. these are the spring boot futures team these are the spring boot futures okay these are the spring boot futures understood team now hey to so before start our actual spring boot application i want to explain each and every feature how it works but to start each and every feature how it works before start to okay, explain this spring boot i want to explain approaches okay how many of approaches team book okay, approaches to create spring boot applications approaches to create spring boot application you see team now there are there are three approaches there are three ways we can there are three ways we can create spring boot application there are three ways we can create spring boot application so what are the three three ways team number 1 number 1 create spring boot project annually create spring boot project manually see team okay how to create okay spring boot project manually team either you can use ides you can use ides is called eclipse or you can use ides is called sts spring tool shoot or you can use ides is called intellij team intellij either one is same team either you can use okay sts or eclipse or using okay intellij all are same what is the advantage of uh, you know okay, sts i would explain to you but for spring applications for spring applications for spring application development for sts sts spring tool shoot spring tool shoot sts ide why it is that we look at discuss team spring tool shoot id understood team now see irrespective of the id is irrespective of the id is first what we'll do you know create your spring boot project manually team see why i am explaining this project means 
okay, if I create one project, you will be able to know from that project, I can explain all the Spring Boot features to you. Now here, see how to do manually means A. Create Maven project. Create Maven project B. Add required required starter dependencies add required add spring boot parent form and spring boot parent form and starter starter dependencies add required spring boot parent form not required spring boot parent form is mandatory add spring boot parent form and required starter dependencies manually third one team what is the third one write spring boot spring boot entry class spring boot entry class manually these three things you have to do do it team how to do let us see how to do it okay let us see team i am using spring tool suit ide team Not this is not in well team. This is not recommended approach. This is not recommended approach. Why developer need to, you know, this is not a worker recommended approach. The developer need to spend so much of time to do all these things. The developer should spend a lot of time, lot of time to, lot of time to create, to create a application lot of time to create a application understood team no how to do it team see now here see file new others maven project new next team i should go for created a simple project group id com dot tech Artifact ID is Spring Boot demo or sample application. Same like how you are doing our okay, Eclipse ID. Same team here. Name Spring Boot demo. This is Spring Boot demo application. Now click on finish. See here, nothing team, it is an empty folder team. It is an empty folder. You have to add, you have to add. I'm, okay, I'm increasing font to team. See team here, you have to add the required okay, dependencies team. Now what is the required dependencies? I should go to the Google team. I should go to the Google Spring Boot Starter Parent Pump. Maven Dependency. Maven dependency 
go to your Maven repository. What is the latest version of Spring Boot team 2.6.6 which was released on March 31st team. I need to add group ID, artifact ID and version. That's it. Go to here. How to add one palm.xml to another palm.xml palm parent team. I told here how to add your parent palm to your child palm with the help of parent tag. Latest version of Spring Boot we are using here. Understood team. Now, now the next one is we need to add the okay dependencies. We need to add the okay dependencies. What is the issue here? I should close this parent team. Okay. Okay. Next one is you have to add manually this dependencies team. Dependencies. I am closing this okay, dependency. Okay, inside of the okay, dependency, what kind of dependency you want? Spring Boot Starter Web Maven dependency. I will explain later, team, clearly what is web and all. 2.6.6. So, approach one developer has the okay, responsibility to configure how many you okay, required dependencies all the required dependencies developer has the okay, responsibility to configure all the okay, required okay, dependencies team and also your spring boot parent to palm team and also your spring boot parent to palm team so once it is done now what we'll do write spring boot of okay, entry class manually so i did created a maven project i added a spring boot in parent form and required starter dependencies there are so many starter dependencies are there what are the required starter dependencies are required your application add those required dependencies only team after that write spring boot okay, entry class or main class manually team how to do now here see new class com dot phenotech phenotech app application team application now it is public static void main public static void main now click on finish now how to do you know it is a spring boot of entry point always spring boot entry point should be okay represent with the spring boot application steam spring boot of entry points should be okay represent with the boot application team this is the mandatory if it is not there your spring boot applications you know will not work what is the importance of this annotations and all we will see that team later now spring application dot run method of your primary source is application dot class no arguments are required okay see every spring boot application every spring boot application this this okay the red spring boot application class is the entry point of your spring boot application entry point of your spring boot applications this class will take care to initiate the all spring boot required in libraries all spring boot required you know uh, you know spring boot required auto configuration classes everything everything will be you know 
driven from this class only team this class is the main class or you know entry point of your spring boot application understood team now see if you are doing manually right developer has the responsibility to create the you know go to the internet and search all the required dependencies here is only one your project may be required 10 dependencies are required 10 dependencies you should go to the google copy paste into here and you should create the secondary class manually team now approach one is done but approach two approach two create spring boot project using using https start dot spring dot iot Start dot spring dot io both are same io so here you have to provide here you have to provide choose project language choose type of build project are you using maven or are you using gradle okay team see and what is the language means we can develop our spring boot application using java using kotlin is kind of new technologies team in one of the programming language it is Kotlin. Another one is Groovy. Another one is Groovy. Third one team. You have to use Spring Boot. Latest version is 2.6.6. Wherever snapshot is there, this snapshot is means still they are doing a development. It's kind of git to branch code. Snapshot means git to branch code. Here 2.6.6 means you can get the release code. Your branch code means development is still going on. Your branch code is a development is still going on. Okay, team. You have to choose Spring Boot version team. You have to choose okay Spring Boot version. That's it, team now actual story will start now now you should go for now provide here what is the group id what is the artifact id what is the version all we should give enter the group id comma artifact id comma version and so on what is your uh, package name i mean your main package name so many things team all we need to enter how group id i would say always group id com dot cnotech demo spring boot sample okay team demo project for spring boot package name com dot cnotech dot app That's it team. Now here see. Now which version of JDK you are using? I am using 8. You want jar file or you want var file? As of now jar is enough. What dependencies you want? See. I want Spring Boot. Starter. Web dependency I want. That's it. You can see preview team. Okay, Explore means you can see in preview how it is working or not. Okay, Explore. See all all your form.xml okay, everything is okay working or not. Yes, whenever you say okay, generate it. Download one zip file team. Choose all this stuff. 
okay, generate it generate the project Pick one choose choose required spring boot starter dependencies and generate the project okay team now here go to your zip file wherever your zip file is there now what you will do okay, okay extract your zip file take this as a project go to your ide import maven project existing maven project form protection it will download it see how fast it will be there i am typing here it may take time but if you go for spring tool shoot generated the project okay, that means download spring boot application in zip file in the format of zip file now extract the zip file extract the zip file okay import import okay import okay, extracted import okay, extracted file into into sts ide into sts ide cd if you observe here you no need to write all the here is one dependency is okay if 10 20 dependencies are there you no need to write all add the all the required dependencies here number one number two automatically it will add spring boot okay, entry class you don't need to create manual stuff here okay everything it should come automatically here understood sir now see note here note see here okay https Spring this so here in this approach in this approach developer no need to write any manual code no need to write any manual code so start start dot spring dot io will take care will take care will take care will take care auto will take care auto generate for auto generate for all the required all the okay required components team all the required components team okay, understood team now so again see now here note to note so now okay. so this is one of the way to same first way is okay developer need to create manually and okay, everything is done okay, second way is see this one team okay you can using start spring shoot and you know apply all this stuff and uh, generate the project okay, import the project into your ide team understood team now third one third one is create spring boot project using using sts using using create spring boot using spring starter project option spring starter project option from sts ide sts ide now see team
here is my STS ID. Here is my okay, STS ID. Now here is start dot spring dot io. It is my STS ID. Now what happened here? Go to here. File. New. Spring starter project. I want to use version is 8 version. Here what is the group ID? Com. Dot. Genotech dot group id maybe genotech is enough artifact id spring boot spring boot okay spring boot application now version is 1.0 you can write any of the version it's not a problem now package name com dot genotech dot app now click on next Click on next. So it is asking what dependencies you want. I need web dependencies. Okay, take it web. You want any reactive dependencies? You want any web services dependencies? You want any what dependencies you want? You want actuator dependencies? It will give. Actuator. You want JDBC dependencies. You don't need to add manually. Who will give? Everything will be given by whom? Your this STS IDE. Now here see what happened next. Whenever you give this STS IDE, see it is the base URL in your REST API. This start.spring.io will expose you on REST API. What is the input of that REST API? Always the input is okay, expecting URI. Hey, if you give URI as the input, uh, this start.spring.io will process the input and it will give output as a, it will give output as a Maven project. It will give output as a Spring Boot project team. Let's see. See what are the stuff is there here. See, this is the stuff team. I would explain this one and create okay spring boot project see now if you see it here it is a query string team it will be asking name what is the group id what is the artifact id now here and so on all the required dependency team it is a query string query string is optional arguments team optional are arguments here see here all are optional arguments team if any see here name is came has demo what will do go to back 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 why you should give demo here i gave here spring boot spring boot okay now here app application spring boot okay application team artifact id name and all okay everything is okay next Next team, next. Now you can take it team C. See, it will connect to your start.spring.io. Starter zip is the input here. So based on our you know provided group ID, artifact ID, and all, it will generate a Spring Boot application. It will give that Spring Boot application to whom? See, you have a Java. You have a Spring Boot version. You have a dependencies means only it is a it will like expose of one okay, REST API team. That REST API will read all the okay, input params. Will read all the okay, input params here. Process the request and it will give output as a Spring Boot application team. Process the request and it will give output as a Spring Boot application team. Now what will be happened here? It will process the request. 
Now here see, it will process the request. It will process the request and it will give a okay, response as a Spring Boot project. Response as Spring Boot project. This project will have all the okay, required okay, dependencies and all team. Now, one, your IDE, okay, STS IDE only team. File, new file, and choose. Choose as a Spring Boot. Spring Boot. Choose as a Spring Boot starter project team. Again, I am going to show team. File, new, Spring. Okay. Spring starter project. Okay, version is 8. Not demo. You can give okay, any name. Spring Boot demo or Spring Boot app. Group ID, com dot, Sinotech, package, com dot, Sinotech dot, app. Okay, team. Now click on next. I need only web. Click on next. See, all are done. Click on finish. It will take time team to create the Spring Boot application. So now Spring Starter Project choose group ID, choose project name, group ID comma, artifact ID comma, version and so on. Click on project so on. Third one is here click on next next then finish team that's it you will generate the spring mode application see how fast it is see how fast it is just to very fast only for to okay, explain i am taking this much of time fraction of uh, seconds max within a 30 seconds you can create this spring boot project to team see you have you have automatically added for this spring boot starter parent automatically added this web dependencies automatically added this okay your entry point of spring boot application so which is a recommended sir can anyone tell okay which is a correct minute option here option one option two or okay, option three which is recommended sir can anyone tell here yeah option three still narsim option three what about others sir sir please okay, respond okay it would be good it should be okay interactive session yeah so yeah, option 3 or option 2, good Nagesh. But option 2 means every time I need to go to some, you know, okay, extract it, zip file again, I should okay, import it, it will take time, right? So, if, okay, if it is, see, if it is non Spring Tool Shoot IDE, see, people are using for non STS IDE, non STS IDE, IDE means in the bracket. If you are using Eclipse or if you are using IntelliJ, I would recommend recommend for option two. Recommend for okay, recommend for option two. Option two, but for for okay, STS IDE, everything is provided the feature inside of your IDE only. Okay, for STS IDE is means Spring Tool Shoot IDE is recommended okay, recommended you know okay, recommended is option three only okay, recommended is option three only for non spring tool shoot id option two because okay, instead of writing this manually they should go to the start dot spring dot io they will look download all the required details 
unzipped and okay, importing into IDE. But for Spring Tool Shoot, no need to go to okay, internet and okay, download it and all. Spring Tool Shoot, okay, you, your IDE okay, itself you can, you know, generated the Spring Boot project means your IDE will connect to your start.spring.io and you know it will based on your input it will generate the project it will give the project to, to your IDE your IDE can able to see this option understood sir so always okay, recommended note here you can see always that's why we should go for spring tool shoot means always you should go for for to develop spring based applications um people are okay preferred using spring tool shoot sir so that you can you know most of the spring related predefined features will be enabled automatically in spring tool shoot ide got it sir now got it everyone or any questions so i will be using option 3 almost in our project development see how fast i will do here to explain i am taking this much of time because you are you know spring tool suit will look expose one of rest api okay end point from rest api you are making a call to your start dot spring dot io it will give you a response as a spring boot project till now we are clear now see how fast i can do file new spring starter project eight okay spring boot app one okay app one fine okay next i need web, i need web dependency i need actuator dependency I need dev tools dependencies. I need I need JDBC dependencies. Okay, team. See, I need if you are using JPA, not if you are using any JPA, if you are using any Redis cache, Redis. Click on next. See it is connecting into your start.spring.io. Click on finish. See first time it may take time to download all the required dependencies which are not in our local repo. It will go internet. It will your project got created or not. Your project has created with the below the dependencies. Dependency is called Spring Boot Starter Actuator, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, Spring Boot Starter Redis, Spring Boot Starter. We have all the required dependencies, it will add automatically. If this dependencies are already present in your Maven local repo, okay. If it is not available, it will go for internet. From there, it will be download all the latest version of jars. See how fast we can do the okay, development using your spring tool suit ide team now go to here your entry point class see entry point class of your okay spring boot application is the class which will have other red spring boot application this is the your entry point of your spring boot application what is the entry point of your web your web application web.xml your web.xml was the entry point of your web application similarly what is the entry point of your spring boot applications means my spring boot application entry at the rate spring boot application class that's it now here see now we are going into see the first concept is called starter dependencies i would explain today only basic steam next class i would elaborate more team what is starter dependencies i would say 
total dependencies means simple without add without without so okay okay instead of instead of developer will will add the dependency we will add lot of dependencies we'll add lot of dependencies manually instead of developer will add lot of dependencies manually manually spring boot starter spring boot starter form and spring boot starter dependencies will take care will take care to bring required required dependencies how these okay required okay dependencies and all i would explain team at this stage i will show see you are adding which one only not here so many are there you can't understand you are adding after all only one spring boot ABAP. How many it is bringing? See, spring boot to web app you are adding. See, For spring boot to web app. How many jars it is bringing? Spring boot starter Tomcat, spring boot to web boot, spring boot to web MVC, spring boot starter JSON, spring boot starter, these many. Understood again if it is MVC again futures again it is MVC again it is futures AOP spring context and all means you have Jackson also JSON means you have Jackson C Jackson data means instead of you will add all these required dependencies manually to develop one spring boot web applications what are the dependencies are required to develop the web application it will bring your starter web dependencies will bring automatically all the required dependencies what is the version of this dependencies this version of dependencies is related to your spring boot parent version spring boot parent class team I don't want to okay, stop in the middle. We'll start in the okay, next class. Team. Hope you're clear, team. So today we focused only on how many ways we created this Maven projects and which one is okay, recommended. I would say the okay, recommended approach is for non okay, STS ID is you can go for uh, okay, option two. You can go for option two because you don't have because, because option three can't enable option three option three not enabled option three not enabled for spring tool suit id is recommended for option three 